Hi everyone, this is Carolyn. And since our days are dragging on with staying indoors, I thought we'd do a dragon. Get it? Dragging on and a dragon. But um, anyway, too funny. But yes, we are doing a dragon today because I got a couple requests to do a dragon. So everybody, and this is going to be a friendly dragon. So everyone grab your paper and your pencil and let's get going. Now this might get a little complicated and if it does just turn off the video and and just catch up at your own pace and no two dragons look alike so if your dragon doesn't look like my dragon then that's okay too. So this is all just having fun in learning about drawing. And the first thing about learning about drawing is this is all coming out of our imagination so Again, my drawing is going to look different from your drawing, and that's perfectly fine. That's what makes art so wonderful. So, if we are ready to go, we are ready to go. So, I am going to use a pencil just to get some of those guide shapes, and then I'll switch to using a marker. And again, my pencil marks are a little um, darker than what I think you should do, so... So you can do a lighter circle, but I'm going to do a dark circle so you can see it. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a circle, as you can see. Okay? Then we're going to draw an oval right here and an oval right here. Okay? And then we're going to draw an oval up here. And then on top of that oval, we're going to draw like a half circle, like that. Okay? So, I'm going to switch to my pen now, but you stick with your pencil. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a line starting at this bottom oval right there and we're going to come down and go all the way down around our circle till we meet that oval. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to go around and stop there. Now if you want to, you can start up and do the bottom part. But you've already drawn that because of the circle. Okay. So, we're going to draw the face first. Everybody ready? This was just our body, and we're going to draw the face. So what we're going to do is, in this bottom oval, we're going to do one half circle right there, and one half circle right there. Okay? And then on the top, we're just going to put them together like that. We're following that oval line. And then we might as well do the rest of the oval. I'm going to do it dark. There we go. Now inside these ovals, we want to put some, that's our, where our nose is. This is where the fire comes out. And then, so we're putting two little circles under there. And here, we're going to put our chin. See how I just kind of came down and did and brought it back up? Now we're going to do this top half circle, which you already have. We're going to put two eyeballs there. Okay, so two ovals again. And maybe a few like eyeball right here. Remember that little white dot? Like that. Now my dragon's going to have pointy ears. Like that. And I think some dragons have like little horns. Like that. You can add those horns or you don't have to add those horns. 
Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start, so that's his face, okay? So we're going to start right where his chin is, and we're going to come down here. We're going to do an inner line like this. Do you see that? And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. That looks pretty weird so far, doesn't it? So we're going to do one, one leg on this side. These are actually his feet. Okay? So if you want to, you can do his little toes by just three lines. Okay, so right here, we're going to draw off the side his one leg. It's going to come down like that. So see how it comes down? And then we're going to do the same over here and come down and meet his foot. So do you see that it looks like his legs and he's hunched down? Okay, so we're going to draw some lines right here and we're just going to this is just decorations for his belly sometimes they have scales and lines and all kinds of stuff so when you draw them round like this instead of straight across makes it look like he's got a round belly. And then when you get further down, you go the other way, like that. Okay, so now we're going to draw his tail. His tail's behind him, of course. And his tail is going to go up like this. And then come back down. Off this side or off that side, it doesn't matter. And then on his tail, we're going to do scales, right? Like that. And imagine that's on his back in the back. Now, he's got, dragons have little hands, so we're going to start here, and we're going to go like that, okay? And then we're going to do one that meets him here. And then we're going to do four fingers. I'm not really sure if a dragon's hand really looks like that, but we're going to do four fingers. Over here, we're going to do the same thing. And if you know dragons better than I do, if you want to make their hands look better than that or look more real, you certainly are welcome to do that. So there's his hands. He's waving at us. So now we're going to do his wings. And his wings are really big. They come right out here. And if you want to, it's like go on this side too. Okay? And then we're going to come it down like this side. And then come down over here. And then we're going to scallop them. Like that. And then scallop over here. Like that. Okay? And then if you want to do more detail, you can go a line on the inside of here and a line on the inside of here. And every time you have a point in your scallop, you can do like two, two lines. That's behind our hand. And then one right here. Like I said, this is kind of complicated, just like our basket the other night, the other day. But I know you can do this. You can just take it slowly. So there is our dragon. Now, he does have his, the fire comes out of his nose. And if you want to draw fire, you can draw like that. And you can do the same out of this nose. Like that. I just see how I drew that. And we go turn like that. And then we come back. 
You may not have to add fire or you can add it your own way. But that is our dragon and you can put him on the ground like this. You can draw a castle back here. You can make your, I love to make polka dots and everything like that. You can add polka dots or spots to your dragon. But I hope you enjoy drawing this and, um, and send me your drawings and find some other things that I've drawn on, um, on YouTube. Thank you very much.